Hello guys, this is Lina Slima Yankee 2 Hotel. Welcome to the Elecraft radio testing field. Um, well, actually testing backyard, actually testing workbench, actually doesn't matter because today I'm only gonna use my Elecraft KX2 radio on a demi load in order to test the internal battery pack out for how long it gonna stand on full 10 watts power output run by the new Elecraft experimental beta version firmware. Interested? Stand by. All right, here's my setup. Here's the radio, not this, this Elecraft KX2. Here's my jumbo 100 watts dummy load. And here's a stopwatch. All right, guys, before you even start asking what the heck is all about, let me explain. The reason is that I'd become for one day a volunteer field tester for Elecraft new experimental firmware for Elecraft KX2 radio. As it is now, the radio drops down to 5 watts of output. At the same time, when it does so, there's still around 65% of battery capacity unused. So it's like uh, it does it, uh, it does the drop a little bit too early. Elecraft been listening to our complaints and come up uh, with the upgrade of a firmware. So this firmware makes the minimum voltage at which a radio drops down the power back to 5 watts at uh, some 9 volts. As it is now, it drops at to 5 watts at the 10 volts minimum level. My task as a field tester is just to run it on my, on my particular KX2 and see how long it's gonna last, when does it drop to 5, five watts and then measure at which uh, battery, so to say, level it happens. So that's what this experiment about. At the time you watch this video, there's probably an official beta version released and you can download it and test it yourself or you can watch me doing this. So let's start. All right, so I'm starting the experiment with a fully charged battery reading 12.5 volts. So this is original lithium ion battery pack from Elecraft. One thing about the KX2 radio, which is not terribly convenient, is that you need to take the battery pack out each time uh, you want to charge it. So now there is a cure for this problem also, the internal battery uh, pack charger, which integrates right here somewhere. So I don't have it yet, but I'm planning to, to obtain one from Alacraft. Voila, it's in place. Now the lid goes on. All right, so, okay. Okay, it's pretty quick work, but still, still, it's a little bit embarrassing. I like this dummy load, it's, it's pretty compact and, and um, well, it works pretty nice with the, with the 100 watts. Uh, so, I connect it to the radio, switch on the radio. All right, so we are at 40 meter band, as it advised from an uh, Elecraft instruction email I got from Wayne Nancy, 6 kilo radio himself. So now uh, we have to uh, make sure the SWR is uh, tuned one to one. So it's demi load, I know, but we can just do the tuning process and see. Okay, it's one to one. Perfect. So now, accordingly to Wayne's email, we need to make some adjustments in the menu. Okay, message repeat. I measured and uh, the, the, the setting number one was a bit too short because um, 
Wayne advises uh, to get uh, one second uh, roughly between the messages, uh, repeated messages, because the messages are gonna loop in the, in, in, in the transmission. So uh, one second to my calculation is more like setting two. Also, let's leave it at two. So battery min, min, minimum. So uh, this should be established at 8.5 volts as per Wayne's recommendation. And uh, I would like to clear uh, the amp hours meter. Right. So where the setting of amp hours, push clear. And now we have zeros. Okay, fine. And that's it with the settings. Let the show begin. Start. Okay, I'll come back after half an hour and we will see how long is gonna run at 10 watts. All right, so roughly half an hour is on. Still 10 watts output, running nicely, no problems. The heatsink is normally warm, it's not hot. Uh, the meter installed, the, the thermometer installed uh, into the radio shows 52 degrees Celsius. Well, that's that's okay. Okay, bingo. One hour, 20 minutes, 37 seconds. It dropped down to 5 watts. We can stop for a while the timer and the transmission and take a look what do we have here. And uh, the amp hours used, which is pretty interesting, is 1.4 amp hours is used out of 2.6 of general capacity of this battery. So it's more, more than half really is used. All right, with the power drop down back to 5 watts output, uh, I reset the stopwatch and we can keep on uh, going on 5 watts and see how long the mm, KX2 gonna last uh, on the remaining uh, capacity of the battery until the radio switches off. Okay, let's do it. Oh, voila, four minutes, 30 seconds only, and uh, the radio went down. Experiment is done, and we have the results. With this new firmware installed, I can confirm that my KX2 with my battery uh, being running at full 10 watts output power, for 80 minutes, one hour, 20 minutes. So, and then after one hour and 20 minutes, uh, the radio dropped down back to five watts of power output. And then um, in this state, it only ran for some four minutes and 30 seconds. So that's, that's um, the result. Uh, I think this new firmware really does its job because the job was to make the period operating on 10 watts longer and I think it succeeded because with the previous firmware I would only run a 10 watts power output level with the internal battery for maybe some 30 minutes, maybe 35 minutes, no more. So now it ran for 80 minutes. So it's basically more than two times longer. That's fine. I'm a bit surprised that it only ran for five, less than five minutes after it dropped back to five watts level. 
so and it uh, seems like uh, the battery discharge curve is not linear but uh, it could be related uh, with my battery's age both my radio and my battery are i think more than four years old uh, and it may have also some influence too i suspect that the results of uh, other testers could be quite different ones uh, maybe on the new brand new radio uh, the results might be quite quite different than on the older radios so like mine so nevertheless uh, i uh, i would recommend the new firmware uh, if you want you know to have more power from your stock battery pack and uh, running for one hour 25 minutes all in all with the one battery pack and most of this time one hour 20 of, of this time uh, you would run on full 10 watts power output i think this is very good actually in the real life the real time of operation would be even longer than this one hour 20 uh, 80 minutes it could be could be maybe maybe 160 minutes so it could be more than two hours uh, of uh, work or maybe up to three hours depending on the on the so to say uh, real cycle of your uh, work uh, so because in the experiment uh, i was you know giving uh, actually the maximum duty cycle working on cw in real life you don't work that heavy so having in mind this um it's even more useful the 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 new feature of the new firmware is allowing to work 10 watts longer is even more useful because uh, you know you're getting uh, up to three hours of real work on the air with one set of battery pack which i think is very very good when you activate sota or you activate parks uh, then it might be a really a difference because um, all right difference between 10 watts and 5 watts output power is 3 db so and uh, these 3 db uh, really could be a decisive one uh, because um, it could be a threshold be between uh, you make a contact or you're not so are you hurt okay or you somewhere sank in the noise of the of the of the band <clears throat> just one more important thing uh, this new software uh, with this extended uh, capability of running at full 10 watts power is only valid for one mode cw mode it doesn't work on uh, ssb it doesn't work on fm it doesn't work on, it doesn't work on am and it doesn't work on digital it only works on cw so this is related with the linearity questions of the power uh, power amplifier of kx2 uh, if if uh, if you drop uh, the the power supply less than 10 volts uh, on SSB and on digital, it might get non-linear. Uh, it means um, it means that you get the signal distorted, and uh, well, and on CW it's not the case. Uh, so guys, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. That was an interesting experiment. So. Again, uh, let me know uh, how were you doing with this experiment if you were conducting one. For now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace for Ukraine, 73. This is Linas, Lima Yankee 2 Hotel.